we're coming up a new road and we got a problem. All right, well, this is the second squirrel we've seen. The first one, they uh, we missed it. It took off running, and they didn't get to see it. So, George, here, let me hold that. You can go up there with them and try to find it. So, how we hunt squirrels is when you see them, you jump out of the truck, and you run them and chase them up a tree, and you keep your eye on them up the tree, and you shoot them out of the top of the tree with the gun. So, here we go. So they're out here kind of spread out. You can see they're out here kind of eyeing it. And uh, so they say they got a shot lined up here. So let's go see if they do. We really like squirrels. They're uh, good eating, very, very good eating. So. Who found him? Whose turn? George, this is really hard to shoot one. I can taste two. Here, hold this gun. All right, so. Gotta find him in their tree. He's up there. I wasn't even videoing. All right, so, Curtis, good shot. You got a squirrel. Let's go see it. Bring it here. Leg off. All right, one squirrel. That's some good squirrel gravy right there. Huh? What do you think? It looks good. All right. Can I have the skin? Maybe. Let's go. I was gonna run and jump over the fence, but figured I'd dip it. No, no, no. Alright, well, we came up to cut some wood, but as you can see, there's a lot more snow on this road, and we didn't want to take a chance, so we're turning around. But to turn around, there's no place to turn around unless you drop way off this road and you get stuck. So we're going to put the jack the trailer up here, disconnect it right here, I'm going to pull forward, I'm going to try to get turned around right here, and you head the other direction. Is that gonna work? It should. Alright. What are we doing, Curtis? Uh, we're trying to turn down the trailer. It's getting as deep as it is. Trying not to get stuck, huh? Make sure you. He's gonna back past the trailer, I think. Okay. You get down there. Okay. Best bet will probably be in the sun where it melted.
Yeah. Yeah. I'm worried about this thing though. On this angle, maybe? Mm, nah. Huh? I don't. I don't think. Might be able to, but. Okay, so we're gonna try to. He's gonna work this snow right over here a little bit. Make sure. We're gonna try to get the angle and hook this up, so we don't have to drag it. Quite a bit. Roll that down. We're going to drag the front of the trailer around a little bit. Should work. We'll have to block those tires over here. Go get something block those tires over there, please. But the unblock, or that one's blocked there. So this, you have to take it off the back. Yep. Come here, hang on. Just get this one right here. We'll, we don't want it to go back further. Okay. Got to unblock that one. Well, no, I guess, yeah, we could, yeah, if that was a good block, then it'll just pivot around on it. That'll keep it from going backwards, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. All right, let's get the chain. So they're going to grab that log real quick. Take it over there to where that tongue will slide along it. Here. Here. Use this. Yep, because see, as we pull, we're going to pull it that way. It needs to slide along there, or else we're going to be trying to dig it out of the ditch. Okay? It's all the way up. Yeah. Yep, here. Okay, I'm just going to pull it forward a little bit. Okay? Okay. You direct them, Curtis, make sure. Worked pretty good.
Hey, everybody get out of the truck. Come on, guys. Hey, get out of the truck. Come on. Everybody on the back of the truck. The trailer. Get on the back of the trailer. Come on, George. Here, take this with you. Everybody on the trailer. We're going to try to pick it up and set it on that thing. As far back as you can. Come on, George. Hold on. Keep going. All right, ready? See how stuff I am? Mm -hmm. Dad, you calling us fat, Johnny? Okay. Hey, pull that log out. What did you say, Georgie? We succeeded! <laughs> it's so cool. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry because uh, my other truck is in the shop, broken down, and so if we get stuck up here, I don't know who we'd call to come get us. We'd have to call a neighbor or something. But anyway, so we got this turned around. It didn't take us too long to turn it around here. And uh, as you can see up here further, people have been stuck right there at that corner. And uh, I didn't really want to go up there to to get stuck so it was better it was better for us to turn around and just go down we'll go down a lower elevation and find some wood to cut so keep coming we're doing it we're coming up a new road and we got a problem Georgia tree Pacific. in the road so these guys are gonna have to cut it out of there We had some pretty strong winds here a couple days ago, and so, no surprise, this is the third tree we've cut out of the road, so we're moving forward. Hopefully there's not too many other others coming through here, but I, I would imagine there'd be quite a few. So we just come around the corner and look. I almost ripped that road out. <laughs> yep. Fall in that hole. Jump out there and get in that hole. You can see how much it's right there at the edge. It's a big old tree. Almost ran off into the hole there. Here, what's the trailer going to do? Dave, the 
must have good boots. It's cold and uh, snowy. These are insulated, waterproof, uh, dry code boots. I don't know, let's try them out. <clears throat> So we are up here cutting wood and it is cold. We're over 8,000 foot elevation here. Snow's on the ground and uh, we have got to get a load of wood cut. So these dry code boots, we're gonna try them out and we're gonna see how they work. Well, they feel good. Hopefully they'll keep my feet warm. I think they will. <laughs> are nice got good traction they're warm I don't know I like them they're almost as nice as this saw yep 500i great saw almost yep. as good as the the boots are almost as good as the saw huh yep look at those all right you got to get a pair of these boots they're awesome Well, this is the creek that runs through our place, and it is running. Anyways, it hasn't made it down to our place running that hard yet. Well, we ended up with a partial load, not a full load here, but uh, some pretty good aspen wood. And uh, we're going to unload it here, make a pile. While I was editing this video, I was overwhelmed with gratitude for the blessings of being able to raise our family in this small rural area and be able to teach our children ways to be self-sufficient. Being out in the forest gathering firewood to keep our house warm was such a fun experience as a family. It's fun to see a squirrel and tree it and then have to find it in the tree. They do have pretty amazing camouflage. And then to be able to shoot it and then to bring it home and cook it, and then build a fire with the firewood that we harvested. It gives us a sense of pride of being able to provide the necessities for our family. We are so blessed to have these amazing opportunities. Well guys, it's a bigger pile than I thought it was, huh? Yeah. Good job. Well, it was a pretty good day wood cutting. Uh, there's a little bit of snow on the mountain, but it's a good thing. Thanks for watching. Tim Bar Farm over and out.